Hello everybody, welcome to another StreamerCraft plugin tutorial video. This isn't really a plugin tutorial, it's just a tutorial in general. This is what happens when new people join the server and what to do. You get this kit, I might modify this kit by the time you see this video. Probably add more wool and less seeds. Welcome to StreamerCraft, please proceed down the hall to choose your fate. Read the rules or watch the video or both. This server uses Movecraft to create flying warships. You will soon choose which will be your home city. Each home city offers a unique selection of ships that you can buy. They also have houses that you can buy and apartments that you can rent. A mini-map is highly recommended, like Voxel Map, like the one I have now. Get it! Uh, did you read the rules? If not, do such rules or watch the video. Start on the left. Okay. This here ship be the SC Nova, a retired artillery ship. All the weapons have been taken out, but she be on display over the city of Stoneguard, home of the server bazaar. Those ships will not be there. Uh, the bazaar is a 24 shop spaces, is 24 shop spaces that players can rent and then create and sell items of their own. Check it out. I have no idea what accent this is, but I like it. Getting back on topic, you can choose to start either in Rome, Paris, or London. Rome has a few houses for sale, and Silver Empire class ships, like this one ye be on right now. Oh, I wasn't about to swear, an ambulance slash fire truck just went outside my window and down the street. Okay, and they had lights on and stuff. Okay. Paris has many apartments and a few houses, features, and... And fe <laughs> you know how hard it is to read in this way? Okay. And features the submersible class warships. Finally, London. I have to use this. London has beautiful houses and home to the Royal Navy class warships. A tutorial playlist has been created on YouTube. Oh, look at this. Uh, to teach you all you need to know about the server and how it works. The short version is that... This world revolves around trading, buying, okay, you already know that. Please proceed down the hall to choose your new life. Um, so, fit, I can stop this now. Fitting with the museum theme of this ship, we have some of the redstone wiring showcased here. The auxiliary bridge, still functional, although nobody can actually pilot this because I have like 50 locks on it. Okay, now two fire trucks just went down the street. I really want to go out and see what happens, but I'm totally scared of the dark. Haha, uh -huh. JK, LOL. YouTube tutorial. This button is not working now because I haven't made all the videos yet, but when you click this, it will give you in your chat the link to the playlist. Watch them if you haven't. Uh, okay, so France. Notice I did France and then the cities of London and Rome, whatever. Uh, it just tells you a brief description, and that button will teleport you to France, this button will teleport you to London, this will tell you to teleport you to Rome, and then the final choice, one, well, Russia. This port does not have an airship merchant, but it has very many nice houses, and is on the best trade route. And I mean all of that sincerely, it's a great place to live, uh, and it's a nice town. And then the Wanderer slash Rogue. This will send you to the middle of the wilderness, where you can become... Pirates, yes, you can become pirates, uh, you and your friends, I mean, mercenaries, or just live off the land, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let's just go back here, uh, okay, or you can take a life of piracy, attacking ships and stealing their cargo to sell as your own, that is an interesting choice of life, it's expensive, but it's awesome. You really only need a few, maybe a fighter. Well, you need an airship, but you. I'm not going to tell you how to seal stuff. Anyway, so let's just choose. Uh, let's choose France. I don't know how to do a French accent, so I'm sorry. Although I should probably learn. Uh, you start in the top floor of the granary here. Go downstairs. You cannot buy this house because it's not actually like a house. I just tried to jump over the fence. What is wrong with me? It's only 8 o'clock. Okay. Go down here. Reception desk. Go outside. There is a sheep walking around. I shall smite that sheep. 
okay, and if I just want to... Yes. So that is basically the new players and what they do. And from here, if you haven't watched the tutorial about your first airship and the basics of trading, what you want to do is with the $500 that you start with, and I will probably give you a bunch of wool or a bunch of a uh, bunch of one type of cargo, maybe maybe iron, maybe chicken, whatever. And you want to take that along with summary. Um, look at the spreadsheet first that I have. Uh, there'll be a link in the server because you won't need it until you're actually in the server to the prices of all the different cities. Although, maybe I will make you make one on your own. That would be interesting. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, I happen to know that if you buy bread here, you can sell it as a profit at a profit for nearly any other place on the server besides one city and that city has not been built yet at the time of making this video bread is a good choice buy a ton of bread yeah it's up to you if you want to spend all of your money if you die though and then you lose all your stuff that's pretty much it for you you have to take out a loan or make a chest shop or like get these things on your own like survival style and sell them and then we go to let's just say England and you have to walk there and I have to walk there for the sake of the sake of this I will not walk there you go to the cargo merchant there you sell all your stuff for a profit yes and now I have more money than when I started and when you finally get enough you can buy your first airship the merchant man but I've already gone over that in another video so yes I just threw a ship away I am a terrible person that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe and it's an and, not an or. Join my server because it is awesome. And the more players, the awesomer it is. I just said awesomer. I have pained and st stuck a stake through my chest at using that terrible grammar for you guys so that I can sound like somebody who says awesomest and stuff. Off. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Anyway, make sure to watch the rest of the video. This thing has a downstairs? I mean, this thing has a downstairs! Yeah! This guild hall is cool. Anyway, bye.